Whether you're trying to commercialize a new beverage or just win your next cocktail competition, developing a truly unique beverage using professional flavors and the techniques that go with it is easier than you think, and anyone can do it with a little bit of guidance. And that's why I created the Flavor and Beverage Development course, as this course will help you understand all the factors that go into creating unique flavors and prototyping a beverage. And then you can apply those techniques you learned in the course to create your own formulations. This is a big advantage over using pre-formulated flavors that everybody has access to or off-the-shelf commercial products. You are in full control of the flavor profile you want to create when you take this course and use these types of ingredients. Uh, this course will also help you work with a consultant if you choose to do that. Uh, one of the issues with working with a consultant is that there's often a fairly large knowledge gap. You may know nothing about flavor development. You just may want to get a beverage onto the market. And they hold all the cards. So taking this course will allow you to narrow that knowledge gap and understand what a consultant can do in the way of formulation and what they can't do. And this will allow you to get more out of your consultant. And considering what consultants charge these days, that's a good thing. But you don't actually need to use a consultant. Everything in this course will allow you to prototype a beverage from basically scratch. And you can use essential oils or professional flavor compounds and create your own unique beverages. I've done a video on like a coconut formulation or some other on this channel. But basically that's what you're going to be able to create uh, using these types of compounds. Now these are kind of pure isolated compounds. One 15 mil bottle can often create 100 to 1,000 liters or more of you know, a partial product. So you use probably like five or six of these ingredients and one bottle of each will create well over 1,000 liters if it's used at a small level. So there's not necessarily a big investment to do it, but the issue is working with such small quantities. So the course talks a lot about how to work that, whether it's dilutions, or using special tools like a micro pipette, which will really change how you formulate uh, because you really don't want hundreds of liters of you know, products that didn't work out hanging around your house or wherever you develop the product. So using a micro, micro pipette, you can actually finely tune each formula and get it to kind of specifically where you want it to be. The course also talks about you know, emulsifiers and acids, sugars, and gives you some basic introduction to those because that's a big part of flavor. It's one thing to create a, an aroma profile, but you have to match that to a sweet, sour, salty, bitter type base. And the course goes into that so that when you're making your flavor compound, it will match with your base to a degree. Obviously, there's a lot of experimentation in developing your own beverage but it's much more rewarding when you're actually doing it from scratch as opposed to just mixing pre-arranged flavors or things you buy off the shelf. As I mentioned in the intro, uh, you have full control over what you want to develop. And you'll find eventually more videos on this channel that will get into that flavor development. So all the skills that you learn in the course, you'll be able to see examples in the future. Uh, I also touch on emulsifiers and some issues with, you know, oil and water never mix. So essential oils, though they have a, a good flavor profile or aroma profile, they may not be the best to work with to create a stable beverage that, you know, that hangs out on a shelf for three months. Uh, using isolates like these, these are pure compounds often, and they tend to remove a lot of the terpenes and they're more soluble. And so they're basically like further distilled essential oils or each fraction of the, dis, uh, the essential oil is distilled out and collected. And then you get this whole range of different flavor compounds from these natural ingredients. A lot of the compounds are natural. Uh, there are some synthetics, but most of the industry really pushes towards natural compounds. So we talk a little bit about that. And it makes for a much more interesting way to develop products. Like for example, cognac oil, this one's a criminally underrated compound, should be used way more in cocktails and beverages than it is. And it's literally just distilled after they get the brandy off. Uh, they will keep all the lees or the yeast in the still or they'll add more and they just distill off all the water and then a small fraction at about 107 Celsius comes off. 
and that is cognac oil. And so it's natural, just like cognac would be, uh, but it has such an amazing aroma that you should be working with it in beverages. But again, you need such a small amount that working with the proper tools and how to dilute it is an important aspect of that from a flavor profile and also from a safety profile. Because there are safety, not major safety issues, because technically if you use too much of this stuff, it just tastes like crap anyway. But we do go into where you can find which compounds to use, how to identify food grade, food grade, which we'll talk about in the course, and all sorts of other issues. They're not complex, you just need to know about them, and the course goes through a lot of them. But if you don't know who I am and you're wondering why I should teach you a course, well, I'm Durst O'Neill. I've been writing about cocktails since 2004. Before that, I worked in research labs. So I spent 15 plus years in a research lab. And then I spent the last 20 years writing about cocktails. There was a little bit of an overlap, but uh, I've written a book on the history of soda fountains called Fix the Pumps. It was nominated for Best New Cocktail Book in 2011, and I was nominated for Best Cocktail Author in the same year at Tales of the Cocktail. And basically, I have been working on drinks for the last 20 years. I've picked up a thing or two, and I do want to share it with you because I think this is definitely something that is not exploited by people who have the talent to do that and by talent I mean you because it's not necessarily hard uh, it just requires a little understanding of the details and is definitely something anybody can do and if uh, you're interested in this course and interested in continuing I do offer the course but I also offer big discounts on the course through patreon so if you sign up for a year on Patreon at the drink maker level, and it's 250 bucks a year, you will get that amount off the course. So the course right now is 399. If you sign up for a year on Patreon for $250, you'll get the course for $149, plus you'll get a full year of Patreon. If you sign up for the drink benefactor level, you'll get the course for free if you subscribe for a year. But if you're a Patreon member and you've been with me for a year or two and you've uh, put in a, a certain amount of money, I will give you that discount on the course if you're still interested in it. So that is it. If you have any questions about the course, you can check it out at edu.artofdrink.com or post a comment below. And you can also check out the Patreon at patreon.com.artofdrink. And I can help you there as well. So if you have an interest in the course, check it out. Links below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.